The leader of Birmingham City Council has admitted the authority paid insufficient attention to its troubled children's services department. It's been in special measures for six years and in March the government appointed Lord Norman Warner as children's commissioner to supervise the department. In an extended interview with our political editor Patrick Burns, the leader of the council, Sir Albert Bore, accepted Lord Warner's accusation that the council had, as he put it, parked the problem. I think uh, a, a number of issues around children's safeguarding were in fact parked. I hope we're addressing those now. Certainly we put together a children's uh, safeguarding development plan uh, that's been uh, signed off, agreed with Lord Warner and has been submitted to the Department for Education. Lord Warner on Midlands Today recently uh, accepted that there are 45 vacancies for social workers. This shortage of social workers is something that's affecting many, many local but authorities. But it's extreme in Birmingham, isn't it? It's not as extreme as in some other authorities. There is a national problem here and I think uh, government are going to have to help us nationally uh, solve this one. Which means uh, money. It does mean money, is that what you're saying? Indeed it does and we are looking at the terms and conditions uh, uh, as applied to social workers to see whether we can make that a little more attractive. You also mentioned the aftermath of the so-called Trojan horse letter. Sir Michael Wilshaw's Ofsted uh, inspectors, when they came in at the beginning of the autumn, said that the uh, improvement plans weren't at that stage fit for purpose. Well, I think it's unfortunate, Patrick, that uh, Ofsted came in uh, in the first week of the new term and perhaps therefore didn't quite see the uh, situation that has, is now coming about. Would you accept with hindsight, which was, as we know, a wonderful thing, that? Uh, the authority had been maybe somewhat remiss in not gripping this for fear possibly of being considered racist or maybe even of being complicit with what was going on in terms of the allegations of a plot. We saw individual jigsaw pieces uh, and we didn't see the whole picture. Uh, I think that's where the mistake lay uh, and therefore it got to that point where the Trojan horse letter then led us to uh, the understanding of what was going wrong with some of our schools. And Patrick is here now. And Patrick's rather pretty frank there, but was he equally forthcoming about the pro proposed combined authority between Birmingham and the black country? He certainly was, Mary. He sees this as an opportunity for our part of the country, not just to match that great economic powerhouse in the north that we just keep on hearing about, but maybe, maybe just to overtake it. I think we've got the capacity not only to catch up, but to actually have a Midlands powerhouse which is much more of a powerhouse than the northern powerhouse that Manchester are proclaiming. So what would you say then to the likes of Coventry, Solihull and maybe some of the places around Coventry and Solihull in the, in the shires that you've mentioned? There's much to be gained I think from uh, bringing together uh, those seven metropolitan districts together with some of the associated shire districts. But Patrick, his council is beset with problems isn't it? How can he bid for more powers when he's struggling to balance the council's books as it stands? I think his position on the budget is that the situation is serious but under control. They've managed to shift, for example, he says about half of that monster 1.1 billion bill arising from the equal pay issue. But uh, they do have to save another £360 million more and the local Labour MP, Gisela Stewart, says there is a risk that the city may even go bankrupt. Well, we're not going to go bankrupt. Uh, let me make that uh, very categorically uh, the statement. I'm equally confident we'll be able to uh, set a budget for 15-16, however that budget is going to include substantial cuts. And uh, to cap it all, the government has ordered a review of governance in the city, which has led to speculation that the whole place could be split into two, north and south. Sir Albert dismissed that out of hand. He said it's simply not going to happen. OK, Patrick Burns, thank you. Now, domestic violence affects a quarter of young people in the...